SpaceX just revealed their new EVA suit, which will make its debut during the Polaris Dawn mission. Now, on the surface, it might look pretty much the same as the one they already have in use for intravehicular activities, but under the hood, there are quite a few differences, so I want to give you an overview of all the things this brand new suit brings to the table, and uh, which I think are worth knowing. So to add a little bit of background, uh, SpaceX started developing these EVA suits uh, because they needed a suit that could support extravehicular activities, aka spacewalks, directly from the Dragon spacecraft during the Polaris missions. The uh, Polaris program is a first-of-its-kind effort to rapidly advance human spaceflight while continuing to raise funds and awareness for other important causes here on Earth. The program will consist of up to three human spaceflight missions that will demonstrate new technologies, conduct extensive research, and ultimately culminate in the first flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. Looking beyond the uh, Polaris program, the development of this suit is also essential for enabling more complex and extended operations in space. It will be used for future missions aimed at exploring and inhabiting other celestial bodies like the Moon and Mars, which, uh, as you know, is part of SpaceX's broader vision of uh, making life uh, multiplanetary. With that out of the way, let's get to the EVA suit itself. So, as you can probably observe, it is an evolution of the intravehicular activity suit or IVA suit that crews currently wear aboard Dragon Human Spaceflight missions. However, this one is designed with extra mobility in mind since it has to provide enough flexibility to astronauts during, during spacewalks while also retaining comfort for unpressurized scenarios like when they are inside the spacecraft. Now, to be clear, this is a fundamentally different spacesuit compared to the uh, one NASA uses or the one currently being developed for the Artemis missions. This suit does not have a spacecraft independent life support system, but it will stay connected to it through an umbilical cord, similar to what NASA did during the Gemini missions. This means that the suit will change considerably and get bulkier once they are intended to be used without being attached to the spacecraft. So starting at the top, the suit features a new visor that will be coated with a thin layer of copper and indium tin oxide to help reflect harmful infrared and ultraviolet radiation, while also allowing visible light to pass through, providing clear visibility. I think NASA uses a thin layer of gold instead for their uh, EVA suits. Now, like gold, Copper is also pretty good at reflecting infrared radiation and uh, from what I could read, the effect can be improved when combined with other film coatings such as indium tin oxide in this case. Uh, actually, indium tin oxide is uh, widely applied almost everywhere. You can find it in flat panel displays, smart windows, polymer-based electronics, uh, thin film photovoltaics, glass doors of supermarket freezers and uh, so on. Now the visor will also feature a new heads-up display and camera that will be active only during the spacewalk. And what it will do is it will display things like uh, the current pressure inside the suit, the temperature and humidity, while also monitoring how long the astronauts will be exposed to the vacuum of, of space. So yeah, this will look pretty futuristic and uh, well, as is often the case with uh, spacewalks, the, cam the helmet camera will probably grant us some breathtaking images, I'm sure. SpaceX hosted a Twitter Spaces chat yesterday, and I think it was Jared that mentioned that the EVA will take a total of two hours, including both depressurization and pressurization. The boots are made of the same thermal material used in Falcon's interstage and Dragon's trunk, which will help astronauts keep their feet at uh, reasonable temperatures during spacewalks. The suit will also be made of fire resistant stretch fabric that will help provide extra mobility while increasing the crew safety when operating in oxygen rich environments. It will have an easy access dial on the umbilical to control the in suit cooling system while also delivering additional oxygen during the spacewalk. And uh, going back to mobility, the suit will feature novel semi rigid rotator joints that will stay soft until pressurized. And this will definitely make life easier for astronauts since they provide a more natural and relaxed fit uh, when the suit is unpressurized, for example, during preparations inside the spacecraft, making it easier and more comfortable to wear and uh, moving them. 
Once pressurized, these joints will become rigid, offering the necessary support and structure uh, to maintain the suit's integrity and functionality in the vacuum of space. Now, you might be asking, why would I carry the EVA suits inside? They could just take them out and put the IVA suits on, right? Well, yes, uh, but the thing is, this new suit can be used as both EVA and IVA suit. They have this uh, dual capability. I don't know what that's going to look like with the umbilical cord, although they'll just probably plug it out when inside the capsule. Now, Jared also mentioned that the Dragon capsule will slowly lower the pressure over uh, several days down to approximately 5 psi, while also increasing the oxygen percentage. Uh, and then once it's time to do spacewalks, they will switch to 100% oxygen inside the suits without performing dedicated pre-breathing exercises. That is new. Astronauts typically need to perform pre-breathing exercises before going on spacewalks. A similar thing was also done during the Apollo missions. Once in space, the pressure inside the capsule would uh, slowly be lowered down to around 5 psi and uh, the atmosphere changed to 100% oxygen. And well, that's all for this uh, overview video. I hope you liked it and uh, learned some new things. Have a nice day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.